Let's take a look now at the dangerous conditions to the north of us. We're heading back into weather. Residents in many eastern states are urged to stay in as snow begins to pile up from what could be a historic blizzard. You are taking a live look at our nation's capital. You can barely see through all of that fog. Now, people have been playing in the snow. They've also obviously been having lots of accidents there. At least 30 inches of snow to fall during this time. This weekend, some areas could see as much as three feet. Now the East Coast is hunkering down as the winter snowstorm pummels 22 states, but experts say roughly one in four Americans is going to be caught up in the blast. Miguel Marquez has the latest for us. It takes a view from outer space to capture the sheer size of this monster storm. West to east, 85 million Americans in 22 states, fully one quarter of the country's population in its path. The storms already turned deadly. At least four people in North Carolina and another in Tennessee killed in storm-related car crashes. But it's the nation's capital that may be hardest hit of all. The storm there predicted to be unlike any that has hit the city in almost 100 years. Mayor Muriel Bowser preparing for the absolute worst. We uh, see this as a, a major storm. Uh, it has uh, life and death implications. The predictions staggering. More than 30 inches of snow, record-breaking totals expected in many areas. Powerful winds gusting up to 65 miles per hour, crippling ice, turning roads dangerous, snapping trees and power lines, causing power outages. Seven states and Washington, D.C. have declared states of emergency. Hundreds of car accidents reported over the past two days in Virginia alone. The overriding message from the city and state leaders. If you don't have to drive, don't drive. Uh, if you don't have to leave your home, don't. Stay inside. Stay indoors, stay safe. Please be very careful, stay off the roads. I would plead with everyone is don't go on the roads. At airports, more than 6,000 flights have been canceled and many more cancellations expected. This United flight skidded off the runway after landing at Chicago's O'Hare. And while no one was injured, it is a sign of a horrendous weekend ahead. And in North Carolina, more than 70 collisions were reported across the state on account of snow and ice. Now, forecasters say the storm will reach its peak by this afternoon. Now, this is when some areas could see 10 inches of snow fall every six hours. South Carolina Emergency Management Division is also warning drivers to stay off the roads this weekend. Driving conditions are expected to get worse as ice accumulates on the roadways and power lines. Officials say the state is anticipating heavy snow, freezing rain, power outages, and more accidents on the roads until Sunday. The division asks that you too listen to local emergency officials so you can take proper action if necessary during the severe weather. People to, to stay home, stay warm, stay safe, and if they need any help, call 911 for life threatening emergencies. Now, we just around 18,000 power outages have already happened. The upstate seen the most so far. This morning, we are getting a look at the resources that South Carolina Department of Transportation are using to combat these icy conditions. And we just got an update through an email that SCDOT has sent us. Now, almost 9,000 tons of salt is being used right now. 963 tons of sand has been used. Almost 22,000 gallons of calcium chloride has been used and on the roads right now 421 pieces of equipment all to help you out to make sure that the roads are safe for you when you are driving and also moving on this morning uh, this morning, we're also looking more into 